Hollywood to the European Theater, which is based on my mission, almost in Ireland, Italy, and on day to day, there was an Ireland target area. And your president, but if you care to be test you know, is your feature is all the time. He's very good at it. He used to fly out sometimes for the type of missions where things get shot up, you know, and they can't quite make it back in the long field. They'll land anywhere they can. Field, a road, whatever, you know. And so that somebody has to drive the airplane or something and fly it up. I did that quite frequently. I mean, it's very strange. So, the missions were on a very scientific basis all over Germany, they put with oil and steel and personal. Well, almost immediately as soon as you joined the Army, your department. We were always very well informed by the U.S. and 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 the U.S. and
So they had to get, uh, I was able to take you up there and then go up and down. Because once you get up there, you stay there, you don't go up and down very often. It's not just remarkable what the United States of America can do with the adverse things that are going on. And uh, the war is raging all the money. Yes, the money is the guys that needed to be fed and housed and can be fed by airplanes and be serviced. And, uh, and when the airplanes are done with their service or something, the minor fact that flying actually is catching holes in all the airplanes and so on, they have to be test free. Test like over here in this country, you're not supposed to go below 500 feet. That's called buzzing. There's not a lot of freight. No, really. Enough anything to do whatever you want. So we used to get that long, 24 hours on the ferry. We used to go buzzing down the old dirt floor, trying to find some buggy, you know. Did you ever have the opportunity to see the famous people over here in America? Yes, as a matter of fact, I can't tell the names.
basic oil fields. That's a pretty well known company. Participate in aviation with my resort and the first LRA SCI, the first in Romania. That's all just the acres and acres and acres of like a good, pretty good sized buildings for the manufacturing. The training, I had. Crew running to oil, you know, and gasoline. That was a choice type for us to put out. Be familiar and uh, the Germans also, they need to be protected from everything they had. Which they did, so it was always a nasty mission. And some of the missions, uh, you know, two for us. It's a real bad one, that's what you're looking for. Like Trevon, you get one mission credit, but it's a long one. You get a double mission credit sometimes. I don't know Because it's all numbers, you know, so you see the mission is like, Fulfill your requirement to make the under wartime conditions. We'll probably see no pay for the ways, no pay for tax ways, no measures. I was thinking about those maintenance people. What were they going to do? Learn, 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 Depending on what they did, any work on the airframe of the airplane, like patching holes and stuff, there was no people that were facing landing in the airport. They do like to test like that, and make sure it's okay. So they're always looking for somebody to come down and be foolish enough to volunteer between missions, which I did a lot. Because I was involved. You enjoyed flying the plane? Oh, yeah. So it wasn't such a bad experience. It wasn't like a horrible experience. Oh, no. Why did you decide to go in the Air Force? Well, there were hundreds and hundreds and thousands of us coming out at the same time. It was first of all, I got married. We had some three children back in the Air Force. And so I'm not responsible for the Air Force. I'm not responsible for the Air Force. I used to go, I lived in the Syracuse area at the time. There was a Rome Army airfield on Rome, New York. We used to go out there weekends and fly the airplane down there. But unfortunately, it was a zero pay program and they paid you nothing. Not even expensive for going down there. You could retain your currency, you know, so you don't have to stay out from flying, not flying. So I did that a little bit to that company to keep the expense of that. We got kids at one time after a while. But I continued to fly there with the last employee. Well, while you were in the Air Force, did you make any good friends from the other soldiers? Or oh, yes. Sure. Yes, sir. We used to, I'm still in contact with a number of them. You know, we call each other on occasion. We're all growing old gracefully, of course. But nevertheless, it's, it's, it's ironic. I don't walk very well now. I came to walk with it, but I'm not, never injured or never really hit by any the aircraft or anything like that. Never had an accident. But nevertheless, I would always gracefully, you know. But I never stopped flying. I had my own airplane for all over the country. I had a Fort Place Cessna, a high wing airplane with a truck in the rear. My wife used to go flying too. I had to take my wife and three kids in that airplane. So to me, flying was a, quite a great adventure that I never forgot, never forgot, never forgot. So when you came back, you, uh, for the rest of your life, you flew? You yes, flew for your exactly. I was ready and waiting and hopeful that I could fly commercially because the airline probably could make it pretty good money, yeah. even then and even today. By comparison, but there were so many people, for example, the flight instructor, we would have many, many, he flies all every day, a lot, you know, they accumulate a lot of time pretty quick. We were over flying combat missions and they don't fly quite as much for quite as long, so they had more time than we did when we came back, so many of them say, what happens when we come back and shut up? Stay right here. We had a good time. So it's not too bad. My family avoided very uh, up on flying. My wife used to go and get the kids all enjoy it. My son, 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 my
So there are people, in fact, it's called the puzzles. That's what people get to the and they have a lot of background information on what needs to be done. Some of those programs think of all the conditions that are missing at the time and all. Fighting for our existence and uh, under adverse conditions. Uh, what type of aircraft did you uh, uh, unit, but you know you well, your I knew you were fighting mostly against the Germans, so uh, 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 I I had many more adventures than uh, uh, most of the guys uh, with uh, my volunteering to fly. Measures and it's missions, like I said before, airplanes would be low on fuel or having an engine over 289 or whatever. They're just about not going to quite make it back to the base, so they look for the first fuel that came to them down below. In many cases, the land in the field that you could not get out of, you could land in a distance that's shorter than you can require for takeoff at the same time. And so, like I say, I used to come here for so much more than necessary just because I enjoy it. Are you scared, though? Mm -hmm. What? Are you scared to fly any of the planes that were? It's exciting. Yeah, yeah. 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 I see. It's definitely yeah. scary. Yeah. You, as you approach the target, look up ahead and you can see it looks like black clouds. And all of a sudden, when you get close, you can see clouds are moving. There's something wrong here, you know. And they're because they, they shoot a big shell. And it's a pretty determined the altitude as to what is going to explode. The shell will open up and up and up all of a sudden, and so that will boom, and it explodes. And the casing of the shell will be made of cast uh, stealing, as you call it, because when it comes up a little bit, it becomes a piece of like great nuts, you know, or bigger pieces than they were doing off in Java, yeah. Or the hands, hopefully. They had the same thing with the casing, so that's why you have to get filled with holes in your hands. First, if you get it, and the engine, that was the most critical thing. You have four engines and a ten man crew, you know, and a load of gasoline. That's not a good reason. Looking back on it, I was uh, young. Fortunately, I was in Woodhouse when I was uh, pretty good at <coughs> coordination. Some, some people just don't have that, you know, they never will. You, can, you, can't, you can't work on that. It's either there, it is like a baseball player. Those guys are sharp physically and mentally. But you and I can't go out and do that. They can't go out and fly airplanes either. So, fire and I think we did a good job. They had the B-29s were in the Japan area, you know, Pacific. We had B-24s, Liberators, and B-17 bombers, B-25 twin-engine bombers, B-26 Marauder twin-engine also. So they had a lot of fighters, you know, P-38s, P-51 Mustangs, and Thunderbolts. And they were primarily they had all kinds of duties too. A lot of those were uh, guards for us, you know, go fly formation, keep the, the fight, enemy fighters off of us. And another would go and do a ground uh, shooting, you know, demolition on the ground. <laughs> that was really fun. That's why I was You're not. Not a shooting. I'm I actually flew 51 missions. It was into the war. They finally got a good program going. If you went to a mission that took you, say, two hours, and the next guy going to a mission takes seven or eight hours, well, that's not quite fair. So I used to try to average those out and uh, assign the missions according to what your record showed you know you've done. So I got a lot of, a lot of the longest and some of the troubles too. We used to fly over all these foreign countries and look down and see the people down there, see the houses, and see the cows and people carrying on normal life, except we're flying over them. And after the war, I came along with the National War Plane Museum down in New York. It used to be a little town in Tennessee, you know where Tennessee is? We teach what's called it down there. Just a big grass field, man. B-17 flying out of that grass strip, like they used to go also. Europe. Yeah, so after the war, I did not use flying. I got my wife and the she would go with us, you know, on trips and all over the country, all over the Northeast primarily. The air shows, so the big airplanes were quite a good attraction then, you know. This is what Go in uniform, you know, with your flight suits on and the jackets and so on. So it was just one big amazing adventure that just continued. Well, eventually, I had a 
play my own or what can that kind of change things a bit? We had full aviation food, but it was expensive. I was just slide it in, my family got used to flying and so I think you know, yeah. flying is yeah. the one thing, but yeah. real flying is flying is smaller. Yeah. You can do what you want to go where you want to go. Yeah. So, um, that's what he did. The enemy was we got there with the most. You talked about a lot. Yeah, the guy, that's me. We'll get me going. Yeah, yeah. Give me a drink and I'll talk forever. <laughs> <laughs> and in English, they were there and they suffered a long time. We had uh, a pilot in the cold and eight other enlisted men the nose gunner, the tail gunner, one in each side called the waist gunner, and a ball to the bottom. Can you imagine the small chair was probably. Oh, I'd say maybe in diameter. Yeah, uh, this high, you know, know this sort of circle. And then the uh, vehicle was retracted up into the airplane. So I'm up into the back of the airplane where the guys were, and then you get it turned around so you can bring it up there, then open the hatch and all. And I get down in that thing and I pull the hatch down. And then they put them down so it's exposed, you know, and so it comes around and shoot. You wouldn't give me that for a million bucks. We lost one man in our crew. The 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 uh, the 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 pilot would have to fly missions along while he was getting trained in our combat conditions, so the crew would always be behind the plane and fly four or five missions. <coughs> and they would try to fly all the missions, roll the crews to catch up so that we all would quit at the same time. So we throw a bomb beyond. I never really did work because uh, just the numbers didn't work. So did you all, you knew, like, is this, is this you right here? Yes. Yeah. So you were a second lieutenant? Yes. And you, you knew from the start you wanted to be the pilot? You had to work your way up, or did you, when you were training, you said, I want to be a pilot? We have to marry to be a pilot. I don't want to find this big airplane, number one. Yeah. It's called the Phony Peter. It's funny, it's funny. It's a lot of screwy names, you know, and I'm in. This is what I feel most of because it had nice light controls and just seemed to be more for the flight than the other. All these did you, um, this was your crew, people. and you, did you come what's what's close, head, close to these guys that you were very close, yes. No, Although the enlisted men down here, the chiefs are called, you know, they're corporal from Privates and staff sergeants and sergeants. And the officers are all in the commission officers, first lieutenant and second lieutenant. I can't tell you, I became a captain before I got out. I'm a leader, I got killed, you're a little pilot, you know what's going on. At least it's what you call hard stand. This is a first planking, the biggest square piece of steel for the holes cut out. They put this right down well, in the mud room, you they might say, around soft grass and all. And then the airplanes uh, move through that. And that was yeah. 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 the yeah. 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 was dirty. He was a trial dirty. He was a, at the point by the time of the military already, we were all brand new green recruits, you know. But nevertheless, he was our Walter Gunner. Again, I say, he wanted to catch up and so we could all do this together. They all did. He Once wanted to another crew one day. Guess what? Well, they got shot down. Oh. So I was one of the very few. Actually, the few in a whole group of the girls that he sees. And so he's buried somewhere down south. So my father is a And all the rest of these guys were pretty oh, yeah. sad. <laughs> <coughs> he's been very interesting. He recently, you were in he's the, my, uh, person I guess, noticed her when our, you were an atheist. We went to, I went to a reunion about two years ago, and he was there with his wife. And we had a First day you're here, you know, same crew, same conditions, and, uh, of course, the wives like to meet the pilots, you know, and their husband stay with us and stay here. Most of the guys down with the military crew remaining, you know. Because I've always been so lucky to be a good offer to him. And a couple of strokes all years ago. So it affected my mobility, but it was my brain is I'm I marvel at that because I was so debilitated, you know. My memory is crystal clear. That's good. Way back all the details. And so that makes it a little bit more acceptable that way. Because some people together sometimes, I've had some of my crew from the visible entertainment. On a rare occasion, I should say. Needless to say, we have a lot to talk about. My co-pilot was from Buffalo. 
Yes, I was in close proximity to Mother Earth. I did a very close formation. Then when they start going over targets, you look at it, you see a big dark cloud at the end, you know. And all of a sudden, when you get closer, you can see that cloud is moving. You see the flashes, you know. And boy, it's just as scary as hell. Especially the tough targets. So did you How did you drive the bomb? I don't like inside the... The bomb in the airplane. Had doors that they used to slide down. The corrugated doors slide down. You know, we always saw the whole bomb bay in there. The bombs all up inside. And when you get those targets, you open the bomb bay door, then you slide up the side, each side, even the end door. It's in the area all over. So you got to be careful. Yeah. Going from the waist of the back, the waist area they call it, to the top of the front of the ball of tar. Bombardiers in the nose of the airplane. Yeah, clear plastic turrets. And uh, in order to get up from the waist department up into the front, you have to go a little catwalk. You love your bombs, are you know, bombs in there. There's a little a transit way on spot from here to here. But now, even the local bus is from here. I see it's about here. Just so you can walk and pull out on the side, you know. The uh, oh, 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 man. Here, uh, 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 That's a manuscript that I wrote. Uh, and, uh, I never did get it. I didn't ever intend to publish it. I got to my family. It's got the end of the day. And in. And uh, so I'll put that all the time. And uh, there might be three people these are some of the performances. You just, uh, like if I were you, you guys, you have to carry a registration of such a thing. You did the register for the draft and so on. And, uh, there I am, there's a picture of a few of them in the lobby, but uh, this is and uh, I guess the training we had this time at home, and then there was a, I carried those there was a little thing here, you know, this by your ear, and there were two on the side of my little finger, the two went from your headset down into the other compartment with the instructor was there, and it's gone the, the same way you talk to that too, believe it or not, it worked quite well. And all these are ordered to make something to me. This is when I was in the I think it was saying, second lieutenant. I don't think we were gay because of that. And we just wanted to show the time of the year. Of course, the, uh, the non flying people were referred to as ground grippers. But there was always a competition between the, the flight personnel and the ground grippers. We used to play time with that. These would be meaningless too, actually, should get into the, the details of it. I don't want to bore you with that. Orders take us one way to the other. This is what they should I'll tell you one thing, boy, the Air Force has everything it needed. For big time, good stuff, you know. Good design, good engineering. Uh, well, like I say, we get her data. Once in a great while, that's a red cross is back. Not very much. And we've advanced. 
Today's session passed, and he writes to me, hold your hand. And uh, again, when I was in hospital, I got These are terrible pictures of pictures of her. That was me. He carried me out of my tent, and I was unconscious. I mean, this jacket, and, uh, I woke up. <laughs> he's calling an A2 wore, jacket. This is the, the, the jacket that the, the pilots I only wear on. Yeah. Yeah. Twenty-year-old guy there with ten men responsible for the missions every day. This is my These are the only times you see these up close to you. Even at the Buffalo. This is on the island of Crete. With the worst in rehabilitation. Very expensive to go over there. What they did do was very small village up on top of uh, the Alec Capri. After they entered train, the train circular and shake and off of cliffs all the way around the whole island. And they had to get trains to take up there, you know, and bring you back. Whatever else, and uh, they got out of there. They had to get the entertainment. They had to get the straws. Well, this is one of the. Well, the first time for us. We had a three day leave and then tried to get a four day leave. And uh, they were most historic. It's not like you see a host house here. And they're really far away. No gate type of that. Instead of sleeping on the ground, you slept on the ground. But the air metal, people had to the air metal, even the enlisted men, and everyone. And then we got the hotel to go look for a rest. Special achievements here. And our people were going to go to the first pilot. And we got the Italian and French book of missions. And I'll agree to have to find out. This, see, here's 35, actually for 35 trips, some of those were double credit, like going to the Pons, the oil field was very, very nasty, and, uh, they give you a double mission credit, for you make one trip and you get two credits, so actually 35 trips, called a sort to S-O-R-T-I-S, 35 sorts in 50 mission credits, and that, and this is not included in this thing before or after your life, it's not coming after. No, I didn't play on the rules. Uh, these two were two shots all the time. I think I tested them. That's the only one. Uh, well, that's here, uh, that's another R&R &R camp in Rome, Italy. Oh. And after we got a restaurant, well, then actually, we go out looking for totally untouched, you know, no bomb drop. Fun activity. Go out touring, look around. The big cathedrals here in the Acropolis, you know, all those things. And also, the Athens and the pleasure going to Athens, you know, it's not a great guy. They have had this, what they did, how they dressed, and how they act. And actually, we saw in the English. There, well, he had a great night. Oh, they had a band there. He went up and And these are other awards for his fun. And he actually was playing And he became a instructor after his favorite one was He came back down. I was still thinking of being there. He was 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 thinking or a combination of 50 missions, you know, double yeah, missions, and so on. Which ever came first? And these are the awards that we see. The Oakley Cluster is triggered like the Mary Medal. Then they okay, so they love the another one. They don't give you well, they give you the Oakley Cluster. It's a little bit of a The Yanks had more money than, you know, they had cigarettes and so forth. So anyway, 
we beat the English soldiers tight. Yeah. 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 This should be the actual mission of what it was. So we just want to make sure that we're going to be thinking of a marshaling yard where they have all the train tracks, you know, and they make up trains to go to Vienna. They put all the trains on this track, and this one goes to Munich, and so on. And so that's a choice target. All those trains are loaded, and all the cars are drop bombs and white walls. So this is meaningful to me only. Yeah. <laughs> I imagine I flying under <laughs> flying close <laughs> formation uh, uh, over time and targets for eight hours and fifteen minutes. That's like a oh that's like yes. lifetime. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Like a bag of lawyer. Oh, yeah. so, especially a guy like me, they have no power sharing on those airplanes. I think it's all oh, manual. Areas, uh, trouble will in the cockpit, but we can tell you the last of the wings. Yeah. 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 Most of them are six, six and a quarter, seven hours after our beat beat is six. So that's all the time. I know. Oh, no, I'm sure I couldn't know. We have the guts to it. These are copies of copies of copies. This is me, this is my old father who was from Buffalo. New York was And I became a flight commander in the And my bomb squad over there, which means that they need somebody. One man can't handle all the hundreds of people living in a group. So they appoint flight commander, and he has so many crews that he's responsible for. See that they uh, do what they're supposed to do. They are three regular fleet. By doing that, they had to give you a jeep. So over there in Italy, everything was mud. So they started building our jeep. This was actually the tatters would blow. These are tree blocks. They take that mud somehow, make it like a big kind of block, and then they build up to the east level and put the tent on top. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, okay. He's got to flip that. This is my crew. Yeah. This is me and his three officers here. They are. I'm going to start with my mobile power. And the rest of them are not off. Most of them are not off. Most of them are living in fact. Some of the people are never going to get to meet at all, but they'll just have them in a car to chase them. He was a chaser, and all of a sudden, he was running with that. 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 And this is the Latin Quarter. After we came back, he was running with that. This is my navigator and his wife. The bomb was standing on it. This is the true picture. I have a large one of the This is the for most of the Did you guys name the plane yourself? Yes, we did. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 How did you know about picking the plane? Uh, somebody had a bright idea, and you know, everybody else said, it sounds pretty good. Then we took the class, you know, everybody had an even board, and that kind of thing, and they get somebody to pin it on. Pony Express? Who came up with an ad? I don't recall. Probably we can not really change it. But it's, it's interesting to live in the back of the States, you know, most of men and an officer never come in contact with each other except in the States and stuff like that. This was the best thing we had. And it's another world between each one of them. Over here is all different. We didn't have, they didn't live together, but we lived there in close proximity to each other. We had an officer's club and they had an earthquake's club. That's a big one. You've got to have those, you know. You've got to have a plastic or sit down and have some more drinks. Do a little lying here, you know. Good day, I'm just telling you what's going on. Good day, I'm just telling you what's going on.
the guy that went over that. We didn't accumulate as much time as in the Stuart Home Park every day, you know, four hours, five hours, seven hours. And they had more time in the airplanes, flying time, and waiting when we came back. So they were already here, and they got most of the good time. So they got a little bit of time in that I used to think, I used to understand the responsibility of carrying 10 men, you know, somebody else's job. What do you think was the most experience? I would say my first mission in well, fact, was from the oil fields. I feel like it's from the oil fields all around the world. It's been a terrible, terrible target. The Germans needed it so badly that they were very heavily defended with any aircraft and the fighters there in the East. To keep them off the Nazi. We used to come there in force and find the formation. Maybe I went there and I said my first two missions were across the country. I will tell you, with that, I got a lot of anxiety over that program. Then again, as you start flying where they're trying to look up and you can see a dark cloud. Then finally, you can see that it's not a cloud, it's moving constantly. It's an aircraft coming up at you. Boy, that's pretty intense. The heavy meant the size of the what they should not do that. At 85 millimeters, 105 millimeters, also scares the diamond. You know, it's a big projectile. They should not be like the fuse is time inside. The fan will only get to a certain time in the war. Then you go off the teeth. And the thousands of pieces that are made, you cast iron, shut it off. Well, all around it, it's already easy. That's what took down the airplane. Did you feel a lot of pressure uh, with being responsible for nine other people's lives? Yes, I did, as a matter of fact, because uh, uh, the airplane commander, he is Jesus Christ himself. His word is the law. And uh, no matter what, the guy who bought something had to be on the only pilot was the work he's done. And there's never a problem for him because of being a basis, you know. Coming from a little country town of Rockland, Pennsylvania, that was a big accomplishment. I wouldn't say that I enjoyed flying combat, but I'm sorry to tell you that I didn't get back in all the season. They could fly after the war, but there were so many guys that had more flying time than I did. The guys that stayed here didn't know any combat for me. They stayed here and just booked time, you know. They got most of their life. Any time we drank water, I'm still I'm amazed because uh, I've had two strokes in 1990, I'm going to the year, and uh, 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 I've recovered from my drink strokes quite well to the extent that my brain is still shocked. I remember things I knew as a kid. The memory is excellent. But my physical dexterity, of course, has been affected. Yeah, I I'm glad that we have had this opportunity because every year you can learn a little more dance. But nevertheless, uh, so I really feel like the water, especially like I did this one take a water here. It was the same way. And I just wore it so much. You can imagine something that's a very important part of your life. Talk about with other people who are interested. That's quite a big Well, every child. So I can't be very really with you, unfortunately, because these are kind of precious to me. Yeah, we understand. But, uh, I think we have a, a scanner. We can scan it. Yeah, we can get some This is really great, too, that you wrote a whole entire book about the whole. Yes, your whole entire. For my family, primarily. Yeah. And I gave a copy to each of my crew members. Oh, really? I think I did, too. So they kind of know what they did. We landed a D-Day I'm ready to pull into your adventure of the night. Yeah. I wouldn't want to do it again. One American troop mm -hmm. could pull across the front of us. They did them at the bedside of the two of our soldiers. So we, we can make a copy of this one in our presentation. Inside of the ship, on the ground, 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 on the 
Uh, two seconds. Okay. <laughs> Thank you.